I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is animal classification and the group of animals we're working with today are going to be fish. So I'm going to write that in my upper right hand corner. I come over here towards the left and I put a dot and from that dot I draw a curved line up and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line down, up and connect. Right here where the dot was I'm going to draw a curve line, connect on top and a curve line, connect on the bottom. Inside, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, and I'm going to put one dot, and I'm going to draw three little curved lines. I come over here on this end, and I start up with a curved line, wavy, wavy line up, wavy line in, curved line down and out, wavy, wavy line in, and connect. I come up on the top over here and I just draw a wavy line up, wavy line down, connect, come down below, wavy line up, down, connect, wavy line down, up, connect. This is a goldfish. Okay? I come right down below and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a curve line up, curve line down, up, down, up, over, curve line down and leave it floating. Come back over here to the dot. We're going to draw a curve line in, curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, follow your lines, bring it up and connect. Come over to the top and we're going to mimic this line again. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come inside and let's just draw a little curve line on the top and a little curve line on the bottom. Baby circle and a dot. Right here we're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. This is an eel. Okay, now come over here, put a dot, we're going to draw a curve line up, down, and up. Come back over to the dot, we're going to draw a curve line down, up, and a wavy, wavy line, connect. Now we're going to bring this up and mimic that line again, wavy, wavy line connect. Come inside and we're just going to draw a wavy line down and right about here we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, and a dot. Okay. Starting on the top we're going to draw curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. On the inside of the space we're going to draw a curve line down, up, down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, connect. Now below we're going to draw a curve line down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, connect. This is a lionfish. Okay? Now, right here if you have room, put a dot. We're going to draw curve line in, curve line out, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, draw a big curve line out, curve line back, and connect. We're going to mimic this line. Draw me another line, curve line, 
and then we're going to come on top and we're going to go curve line up down curve line up down curve line up down connect come back over here to this section draw a curve line zigzag curve line zigzag connect come on the bottom curve line zigzag curve line zigzag connect come inside and draw zig zag zig zag zigzag come right here and draw a circle baby circle little half circle inside and a dot this is a piranha piranha fish Okay, I'm going to add some little curved lines, little curved lines. We'll leave the rest alone. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, my goldfish, I'm going to double color. So I take my yellow and I color in the entire space with yellow. That's your first coat of color. Then, I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to lightly loop de loop some orange over the top of the yellow so I get a double color and it looks a little golden. Some of you might have fancy crayons and have gold or metallics. You can use these on these on these animals. They lend themselves to that. Okay. Now I come down below and if you have gray you're going to do the bottom section of this space gray. If you don't have gray, you can use brown, lightly color though. Don't color real dark and color in this whole entire space. Now, take your gray and color this space dark, this space dark, this space dark. Okay? Now, get a purple and color this space purple. Okay? This is really a good project if you do have metallics. But we don't. And we don't care. This will work just fine. Bring it all the way up. Okay. Now, for this one, we're going to color this space orange. And all of these, we're going to also color orange. Now what we're going to do is leave the rest of it alone but if you had a silver or metallic this is what you would color the white part but I don't I'm gonna leave it alone just color in this space okay in the last one if you have gray you can color in these spaces gray all of these gray down below gray and this rim around all those teeth those could be gray then with brown lightly loop-de-loop -loop this space leave your teeth alone you want those to be white okay alright let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here are my fish all colored in fish live in the water, they breathe with gills, they have fins and scales on their skin. Okay, bye-bye.